Hello, this is Warlord, and what we're going to do today is take a look at the tessellation props. I got an email asking what are they. Well, this is very basic and something that you really do need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to build a planner like you'd see in a mall or in your home or, or in an office or something like that. So let's go under props, 3D blocks, and the pipe folder, and let's load pipe 1. And after it loads, let's go down to the tessellation props. And we're going to go ahead and load the Displace 2. Now it's going to be too big, of course. But we're going to do some shaping here. Let's go ahead and bring it up a little. And then grab our pipe. And then just kind of make it a little bigger around. Bring it down. Go back to our tessellation prop. And put it inside. Just like that. Now let's go over to our materials and let's go into the substance that came with it. I clone until we get to, let's see, what is it? Rocks? Yeah, stones. And let's dump it on the tessellation prop. I'm going to bring it up here where we can see it. Go over to our texture. And now displacement is going, we can work with displacement here, and it's going to do some things for us. We'll go ahead and it'll define it a little better, more than it probably gives it so much height, it defines it. But let's go down to tessellation. Of course, I'm also going to want to put this on at least 1024. Jack the tessellation level all the way up, and then the multiplier is going to make your difference. You can see right there. You don't want to get too radical. Now let's duplicate our tessellation prop. I'm going to hold down control while I move it up. I'm going to go back to materials. Now for this particular deal, you're going to have to pick a different substance, but I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to go into the substance 200. Uh, I believe it's the power pack or something like that. I'm grabbing foliage and I'm putting it on there. And now you can see what happens when you have a little too much going on. So let's shrink that down what fits inside and then let's come back down here and cut our multiplier back all right now let's move it back down through the stones a little however you want that to look and now we're ready to go ahead and add a tree a plant or something like that to it Okay, now let's go over to the prompt tab. Let's go to tree. And let's see, banana plant. We'll try that. Put that in there. Oh, don't want to twirl it that way. Move it up where I can see. And just kind of size it to whatever your taste is. And then you're ready to just go and add a, some kind of a texture or material to the planner. I'm going to go grab some wood out of that 200 pack. Now, here's another thing, too. You see how that split the seam? On some things with seams, clothing, stuff like that, uh, displacement just doesn't work well. You can work with it right here and close that seam up and fix that, but what I generally do is just bake it. If I don't need the texture, I delete it so I don't have to deal with it. But there you have a simple way, and you can see how tessellation, you don't want to overdo it. There's, there's kind of a fine line of boundary there. But you can see how tessellation really adds a lot. So this is something that you just need to get familiar with and learn how to use tessellation and displacement. But remember, tessellation and your tessellation multiplier are going to be what does the most. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.